Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SummerSlam. Kicking off things with the Raw Women's Tag Team Championship match. There will be no commentary from Cole, Graves, or Saxton for this event. It will instead be Serzaku and Dotty for this one. I'm eager to see how this match is going to turn out. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. I mean, we got Anesthesia and Benakage. Benakage has the Rose of Roses title already. I mean, you know, this is this this could be really really good. If they can pull the titles off of the Dirty Pair, I doubt it though, because the Dirty Pair is just, it's the Dirty Pair. You, you, it's hard to bet against them. But then again, I mean, Benakage and Anastasia have been pulling off these surprise wins as of late, with Benakage winning the Rose of Rose title, and even though Anastasia's cash in didn't work out, she won the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match for Raw. I, so am I, man. Like, you know, I was. Yeah, I'm not really happy about it, but it's what it is. These things happen. The way of the champs. And here they come. Here comes Kane Yuri. The lovely angels is what they call themselves, but everybody knows that they're truly the dirty pair. They managed to hold on to the Raw Women's Tag Team titles for a little bit now. I mean, they, they managed to finally unseat the Cold Sun as champs, which was really surprising. Yeah, and, you know, it, just, it was unexpected. But, you know, all things must come to an end, and it did. So, we got the dirty pair now, and they're about to uh, go out here and see what kind of damage they do. But one thing we all know, it's not their fault. It's just, it's just not. Everybody else escalates it, they just take the blame. It sucks though, but the way it is. Who's going to walk out of here champion for SummerSlam for the Raw Women's Tag Division? Going to be the dirty pair. Balance of terror. They sure can. Sure can. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very stacked show for you tonight with this event. WWE this Raw the whole time. Women's Tag Team Doctor The Ninja on the way to the ring. Doctor and The Ninja, the Disciples of Darkness. The Ninja and their opponents. They are the Tag Team Wild Thing and Sweetness, the Femme Fatale. All right. Who's going to be starting this match off? Looks like it's going to be K versus. Will it be Anastasia or will it be. Benakage that starts this. Anastasia's yes, gonna start it, okay. I'm surprised. You know, she normally sits on the outside and waits, but not happening today. She's already starting off with these elbows. Okay, is like knocked that off. And oh wow. Nice step buster. Gets her over. Oh, uh, Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. I mean, who, who, who do you think that you know got the better answer about it? I really don't know, cause you know, K got the speed and everything, but you also gotta take into account that Doctor Anesthesia is a submission specialist. 
Yeah, the best thing you can have in that cash room, but, you know, these things happen. Please don't remind me of that. I'm still salty. Look, look, look. It is what it is. These things happen. And the Benapaga tags in. And I'm down. That had to hurt on the back of the neck. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, for submission. Trying to make her pass out. And she gets out of it. She gets out of it. Yeah, we got some strong women contenders in our tag team division. We do. Oh, we hear backstage that, uh... All four members of the BWA are backstage tonight. They are to be kept away from the production trucks. We do not want what happened at Money in the Bank to happen again. I mean, that's what happens when they celebrate getting, like, almost all the gold available. Yeah, no. That's how it is, like, not that often. Oh, up all around the world. Nice. It's like every time they do, they do one move, somebody's got an answer for it. In the corner, and it's with the monkey foot. What? Here he comes. Out of that. Out of that. Drags her over to the corner. And tags and Ken. Here he tags that king. Hey. Ropes. And, and oh, oh nice nice spin for a bulldog. I wonder if she'll pull that off at the end of this match. Either that or she'll pull off the floor. Oh, she's going for the pin. No. Nope. Two count. Two. Roll through clothes on his mind spread. Wasn't as good enough to get that three. Puts it with a back suplex. Another reverse by K. Another one by Betakage. Grabbed by the hair and threw her on the ground. That's the strength of the middle. And nice leg drop. Up, she's going back in it. She's gonna get her the tap. She's gonna pass out. No. Huh? Ace hits it again. I don't know. I feel like the, the dirty pair themselves are. They, oh, they're they're, they're escape artists. One. They are just escape artists. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, the threats they deal with in the 3WA, I mean, come on. They can handle anything. It's just. They get blamed for stuff that ain't their fault. Oh, Kate just rolls the outside, and Ben Akagi is coming out there to meet her. And a back suplex outside of the oh, man. Yeah, hopefully they can get back in the ring soon, because, you man, know. Man, I do not want this to end in a damn town. I, I will know. Yes. Oh. And those of you who are so not like familiar with the championship rules here, you must win by pinfall or submission in the ring. In. You cannot, and you really the title the cannot tag. change hands outside Benicage of the ring. Stiff arm. Oh, nice hold line. I missed that into Gary. Oh. Another hold line. Oh. Get him oh, to the elbow. Oh. Nice. Oh, Yuri's going for it. Nice. Nice kick to the face. Going for it. Up, oh, they're going to the And Susan breaks it up. Oh. Yuri always knows how to put on the table. So, get to the outside. Yuri coming out there this time. Yep. Mm. 
Got to get it back in the ring if they want to win them titles. Right. You cannot. The title won't change hands by count out like I just reiterated. Get back in the damn ring. Come on. Okay. On the stairs. Damn. Up to a count of five. Now it's it. Okay. Could have used Back your ring. Could have used your ninjutsu to get out of that, Benny. I guess you want to think about. Ah! She's trying to get her profession, man. Keeping this up. The target seems to be, you know, safe. Hits her with a drop there. Yuri rolls to the outside. Then a Kage go. Showboating. We knocked that off. Got her in the corner. What's he really gonna do? Ah, oh, right. uh, bitch slap. No, no. This is going to hurt. She's a boom. God, her monster is looking at that. Here comes the cover. Uh, Only a two, still. Manages to kick out. Lee sends over to the corner. Benny Carter going to have to tag out at some point. Okay. Going for the rocket launcher. Oh, gets the hot tag to Anastasia. K's in. What? what? That. <laughs> like, uh, did she have force powers? No. Is she, is she a Jedi? Now. Shoulder. Oh, down to the top rope. Knocked it out. Knocked it down. Okay, trying to get back up. Let's see if anything to happen. Uh oh. Yep, here she goes. She's going for the mold. What is Here's the ref doing? Her to, to knock that back. But she oh, fell. she taps out to we the got new Women's tag champs on Raw. The balance of terror pulled it off. Oh yeah. With a submission. I'm really happy that they won, but I'm sad to see that the dirty pair lost. But all things must come to an end. All records are made to be broken. Looked like Benakagi took a lot of the damage in this match. She really did. Instead of, you know, Anastasia who came in at the end and just, you know, helped secure that win. But, hey, a win by any means is a win. Well, then again, Anastasia is more of a strategist, you know? Yeah, Benakagi can take some damage. I mean, you see how she took that rocket launcher? Forget the rocket launcher. That damn steel steps. Yeah. Here are your winners. Now we got the brand new spanking WWE new Raw Women's, Women's Tag Team Champs. Doctor and the Ninja. Very the happy for these two ladies. What oh, is yeah. this going to do for the Raw Women's Tag Division? We'll have to see tomorrow night on Raw what exactly happens. But I am very much interested in seeing what happens with these two ladies. Oh, yeah.
coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Cruiserweight Championship Triple Threat Match. We got Renahiro, Guy, and Ramon, who has been on a tear in the Cruiserweight division, taking guys out one by one. Even sometimes Fatal 4 ways and Fatal 5 ways, as we saw with the Great American Bash. But can he get past both Renahiro and Guy tonight? Is the belt going to stay in NXT? Or is it going to Raw with Renegiro or to SmackDown with Guy? Let's find out next. And here he comes. Let's see what power he's ready to deck. Is that? It's low. The following is contest head suit on? is yes. Yes. Wow, I guess he's barring uh, Billy Hatch's powers tonight. The challenger. Oh, yeah. I'm, wow. I'm you know, stoked for this. I wasn't expecting that, but hey, you know. Pounds. Hero. Lights out in the world. He's got to go save the day. He put his hat suit on. He's going to roll that egg this way. Lights out, because Billy Hatcher is here, but he did not bring the giant egg. Aw, that is disappointing. Yeah, you know, guess he want to save his energy, but hey, you know, it's great. Here comes Guy. Oh, who is he today? Oh, I guess he, uh, borrowed something from Strider Hughes wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Challenger. And he's dabbing. I'm already over it. Uh, you pounds. That. I hope he doesn't do any of this show off shit and, you know, cost himself a match again. But it's going to be interesting to see if he can get the title. But it's eluded him so far. He hasn't had much single success. He's had better success in the tag division. But I guess with Cody holding money in bank briefcase for SmackDown. I guess he wants to see if he can do this and win something on his own. Do you think a cash-in might possibly happen? Anything's possible down here, I mean, you know. Because we have Cody, we have Pepsi Man, and we have Blaze. I don't know about Blaze. I mean, you know, she's got to get past. She's got to wait for one of these four women to win, and they're some of the four toughest women on SmackDown. We okay. got the Raw, Kate Elizabeth. I mean, but we'll deal and with that later. Here comes the, the Cruiserweight Champion, Ramon. Hey. At 176 pounds, he is the NXT Even though he was unsuccessful last night champion. at NXT Whoa. TakeOver 30, hopefully he can hold on to this belt. Even though he was unsuccessful in getting that North American title. He's like, I'm, I'm not leaving empty-handed. Surprised he's gonna oh, wrestle again on you know less than 24 hours notice, but hey, he says that you know comes with the territory, man. Hey, Ramon's one tough mofo. He, he was gonna go out here. He said, I'm gonna do it. He said, I am the man. I mean, you know, you want to be, I guess he's not going to be one of these guys that's a fake-ass prima donna. He's going to be a tough guy. See how this all goes for the Cruiserweight Championship. I mean, Ramon came out of nowhere and earned that. That was on his debut. Yeah, like, no one expected him to just, you know, hurry up and just destroy El Vicante Uno to get that damn belt. Let's see who's going to win this match. Billy really Hatcher stepped up first. Guy like, fuck it, I'm going to wait. Oh, wait. The guy over there showboating. You better get in there. Uh, guy, now's not the really time. Hatcher over there. Oh. Got to take advantage. Oh, one on the back. Punch to the face. 
like, oh, still taking those blows like, in the back. Dang. Up oh, there go Ramon Shogun. And missed that drop, the drop kick. kick. But hey, you know, it happens. Oh, wait. I mean, who do you have on this match? Nice for a combo. Nice my, drop kick, too. My money's on Ramon. I mean, I don't know. We got Renner here over there. You never know when he's going to break out either the virtual combo, the fighting Viper. You know, these things happen. I mean, that fighting Viper is lethal. I mean, he hits that. It's almost, it's pretty much guaranteed. It's over. Oh, nice chop block! I wonder what's more lethal. His, um, fighting Viper or, um, Skullomania Skullalock? The Skullalock is great, but it's the fighting Viper. Mmm, smash to the corner. Oh! Whoop! Very nice! nice six of Byron And guys on the outside, but we're gonna heroes back up against the ropes. And now down on the ground. And guys, <laughs> it's the the jury doing all that dance. I'm telling you, man, these cruiserweights always know how to put on the show, whether on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. It never, it never fails to impress the people who can stand. And the oh, viewers, yeah. And the millions watching the home. Neck record by running here on guy. It's even more lit when they're in the ladder match. Yeah. Oh, it's going with the virtual combo already. Double kicks to the back. Oh! Right into the fighting viper! Oh, already. Yep, Ramon, Ramon manages to escape. I keep telling you, Ramon it. is tough. Like, he survived multi-man nice matches before. Ramon's rolling out of the ring. He's down for a bit. Up. Oh. Nice top, top rope assist to her kind of and that goes to the pin. We're a oh, one, one count. count. Renner here like, you ain't even close, bro. Are you sure that giant egg ain't even in this arena somewhere? I don't know. I don't think he brought it with him. I know Team Sega wants to walk out of here all draped in gold, but... But they ain't dripping like the BWA dripping. Yeah, I mean, you know, they got the CWA tag team titles, but they need to get the raw ones. Only a one count again. Guys only give me one count. Many heroes the only one standing. Guys on the outside. Ramon is dazed and confused right now. Incense and peppermints is all he's feeling. Drop kick. Another drop kick. Oops. Nice crossbody. Ramon is down. Going for a pin. Only a oh, one, one count. count. Okay. I guess this is uh, going big time for this one. Oh, shot block by the guy again. Guess he's a fan of that move. Oh. Nice pick nice. the wall. He went for the sketch turner kick. Didn't get it. Nope. One sec. No, didn't get that Joey Bell suplex. Into the corner. And also for the Tilted World. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's oh, the cover. cover. Two. Only a oh. two down. Okay, what's Guy about to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're covering the champion. Stinks it. Man, here I have been an escape artist today. 
Tips on the he outside. Al he always has. Mmm. Well, side slam. Yeah, that just that that had to hurt. These two fighting on the outside. Oh, now they're they're playing hot potato in terms of getting in and out of the ring. Yep. Playing <laughs> games. Somebody get in the damn ring and fight. There we go. Jenny Hero's rising up. Hey, Ramon's going in for the pin. Only a two count. That ain't enough. We got to work for it a little more. Left side, rush the left sleep. In this corner. Oh. Uh, guy escapes it. Spinning back kick. To the gut. And here comes that with an elbow catch the face. Swinging neck breaker. Uh oh. Right in here is preparing for something. Into the fighting viper. Oh. Ramon needs to hurry up and break Ramon's it up. Break. Ramon he does. It. Keeps his title and opportunity alive. Oh wait. wait. Oh. oh. Oh wait. Only oh. a two count. Wow. That was close. Ramon has to be getting, you know, a little frustrated with you still. Oh, yeah. Black suit, And into the Fighting Viper again! He will not stop until someone taps out. And Rene Hero has walked out with the Cruiserweight title. And Ramon street. is actively pissed. Of the Fighting Viper. Deadly. Just deadly. We saw him get the virtual combo. And then he even mixed it up. But Ramon hitting that picture perfect tilt to world on both of these guys was awesome. Just one right after the other. Like nobody's business. It just wasn't enough yeah. to get the win. I mean, that fighting viper is just deadly. Here is your In winner. Phase one and of the Team Sega NXT Expedition of Gold. Yeah, part one. Part up. one is in the books. Yeah, but Ramon's looking to get it back. Ramon always looks to get it back. Just have to wait till Renny Hero stops by on either Thunder. Or new with hand to get it back. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is for the Raw, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. As the Knockout King, Sakahiko and Duke Nukem, take on Bare Knuckle. This is going to be one hellacious tag team match. Like, I don't, I don't honestly know who's going to win this one.
here they come the knockout Kings two men brought together in unlikely circumstances they hold the impact a NWA titles they got the X division and the TV title and this this match could, could be potentially really really quick I mean Duke Nukem is known for dealing with alien threats and Akiko deals with threats in the midnight hour I mean you know during the dark hour I mean you know he's good that fist alone yeah. all it needs is the destructive right hand they come at you with either hand it doesn't matter don't forget the protein. Step one through nine. Wait a minute. They're not coming out there to use the thing. Oh, they done dressed up as Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is an unstoppable tag team. They've been champions since WrestleMania. Just been on a tear. Managed to evade the Exotic Warriors. BWA. Pretty much every team on SmackDown. The real question now. Can they hold on to these titles tonight? The Bruiser 2. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 460 pounds, the Bruiser and two, the Chick Magnets. The Bruiser, two, and their opponents, at a combined weight of 560 pounds, they are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Axe. Stone and Max Thunder, the Hit Squad. Already up against Axel. Oh! Nice block of power by Amanda. Oh, Axel ain't no slouch. He will be them with some hands that grand up. And the rope. Oh! Yeah. I can go trying to end this early. I want to go home. Already going for a submission attempt. Trying to wear him out, but that throws him off. Got Blaze sitting on the outside. Right. The corner, try to get him off. Got him off. Take him over to the. Uh, uh, nope. No. He go like knocking that off right now. Down like garbage. I ain't playing these games with you. Oh, spinning back there. Okay, Axe is gonna need to get serious sooner rather than later. Thunder's in there. Nasty. Take damage. Wow. Is that the people keeping the hands out here? Oh! 
Oh, nice DDT. I think he is not playing today. He, he wants to say to him, go. You got to remember, you got to get him in the ring to get that belt. Oh, dropped him with that destructive right hand. Max, you is slipping. What's going on? A little too but damn. This dude Bare is Bare knuckle not is slipping today. Like, what the hell is going on here? Y'all have and been. Here comes Duke. Y'all have been defending the streets of rage and. Damn! Look at the height. Oh my god. All right, Axe is back in. Just give it a close line. Oh but no, nope, he stopped that. Oh, boss man slam. Going for a pin. Only two. That's a take out. Like, knockout came here. He's got an answer for every damn thing they're doing tonight. Oh, here we go. Head blast. That's it. That's got to be it. No, no not yet. Axel's still holding on. Axel, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get that grand upper. Oh, right on time. <laughs> Wait, what's he going for now? He's going for another one. No, nope. no, nope. nope. oh, oh. countered the Grand Dragon way. Just a little bit too lightly, man. Yeah. Max gets the tag. Mm. Oh, that ain't your face. Right. Max is a big dude. I think those people break that up. Ref is down. Anything goes until he gets back up. He's, he's, he's rising up. Now, looks now like Max burn. over here, Sean okay. Lee and him. Only two count. Looks like Burn Knuckle is now getting back in the swing. Mm -hmm. Oh, right into a boss of crap. And Duke get out, he does. You gotta go get Dude Nukem to, to tap out, unless you're all the women in the world at once. Damn, I can do this process. Duke is not in the land of the babe. He can't pass out yet. Oh, they're going for it again. That, that, that looks like it's it. Here comes Duke. And Duke breaks it. Oh, oh, accidentally oh. took out Max. Uh-oh. Duke is rolling out of the ring. So is Max. It's just two smaller guys. Blaze is out there checking on Max.
Trying to make him grab him as wrestle. Destructive right hand. They just blasted Axel in the head twice, man. Like, yeah. They come at you with either hand. It doesn't matter. But their knuckle fall hard, but it just it wasn't enough to get past. The yeah. knockout kings. I mean, they, they were pretty lax and they earlier did it. in the match. And not only did they do it, they knocked them the fuck out. Here are your winners. And you snuck down tag match. team and the bruiser. Wow, and you know, and two, the chick magnets. Duke is going to be having babes while Akihiro just loads up on pro team and gets back in the gym. Man, I was not expecting that. Peeps, coming up next, Cosmo Kiryu is going after Saban Rene Figaro for the United States title. The Team Sega Expedition of Gold continues next.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Here he comes. The Dragon of Dojo. The man that will knock you out in two seconds flat. Kazuma Kiryu. He won this opportunity by having to defeat Ryo Hazuki of Team Sega and he managed to beat Travis Touchdown of the UAA. Yeah. Was not expecting that, but hey. It just goes to show you that no matter what you do, you can't beat Kiryu. Can't stop it. Not even Jail can stop this man. Yes, I think the only man that could potentially stop him or outlast him is Mr. Libido. Oh, God. But then again, it's Mr. Libido. I mean, nobody can really outlast that guy. Yeah, and his aggressive, his aggressive thrusting. Well, I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, he's got to do it. Some people just need it. Is he really gonna get this title tonight, man? Like, I don't. Is this is Team Sega's expedition of gold gonna continue? Yeah, but is he gonna be saving? I mean, it's saving though, man. He's he's extremely tough. Motherfucker super the train. Yeah. And not only did he super the train, he super a ghost motherfucker train. This is going to be a tough, tough sale in this upcoming match. Here he comes. The U.S. champ. Sporting that new bit of gold. Sounds like team spirit. Yeah, definitely. That it does. Guess he just got back from helping his brother. Looks like Saban's in the mood to hurry up and win. Saban's turn to win this. I mean, he's in his monk garb, so. Yep. That go look good. Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 195 pounds. Arena the dragon. In his blood. You to Introducing the champion from the old Save country, really like the weighing in enough. at 233 <laughs> pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, the man of a thousand holes. This is what it's all about, man. He wants to hold the United States go. I'm seriously gotta say, that new US title is looking nice. It does look amazing. Might pick one in my soon. This is going to be a technical battle. Oh, yeah. That hard Oh, wow. Here you took Saban to the ground. Block that kick. Oh, I'm on the knee. Okay. Oh. Oh. Here you come. Oh, okay. 
Saban's up. The Q counters that. Hits him with a knee to the gut. Saving him back up. up. Oh. And sends him out of the way. Down on the outside. Get him back leg. in the ring. David is really working that leg. But it is a title match. They need to get back in the ring. And right back outside telling him to get his ass back up. <laughs> yeah, you done slid out on him.
did it again. Not enough. Wow. Nope. Same and like, nope. Save is up. But we all, lights might be on, but nobody's home. Looks like he's there. One suplex. going for another one, but saving four out of it. Right into the combo again. Only a two count. Saving look like that was it. He's like, I got nothing left to give. Going up high, getting ready to fly. He totally oh. missed all of that. But he didn't miss that. No, no, he didn't. Here you roll, see outside. Should have made this in Orlando 
of my of Florida Street Fighter, but it's just we didn't think about it. We probably should have done it though. We would have had to call the Florida Man Street Fight though. Florida man, they get involved in anything. Yeah. Oh! Felt oh. like a shotgun blast. Oh, he's back at the top. Is he gonna go for it one more time? Oh, oh. right on that knee. Nice face plant call. Given everything they had before. Right. And this isn't even the Universal title match. Right. Oh! Here you go on up. This is a match of the year candidate. <laughs> Missed that one. The Saban gonna take it by count out. Be incredibly shitty if he does. He doesn't need it. He needs to come on, Kerry, you get up. Middle rope. Oh. Middle rope in Shasta. That has to be it. Only a two. Wow. What's it going to take? Oh, here it comes. Number four. Oh, and busted him open. And he still kicked out. Sam probably got potions on him. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ref didn't check that. For that knee bar submission. These two are fighting so hard. Fight forever. Fight forever. I don't care if whoever wins this match, they get in a rematch. Back into the knee bar, oh, but oh, oh rope break. break. This is honestly just been a year. Put on a fucking show like this. I mean, you can tell. Another both, aura blast. You can tell the both stomach. these men are fatigued, but they are not giving up. One more time. Fair cross neck and death. Here you go, try to get off that. Oh, oh my god. That frustration is mounting. Okay. Number he's five. Going, he's going for number five. Misses. Oh, no. Oh, All the time, Bo. And Saban retains. retains. Great match. Uh, honestly, 
I'm tempted to put that match back on again. Honestly, that was that, that was a war between these two. That gets six stars. Fuck it, that gets eight to me. That gets eight stars. Fuck you, Dead Melzer. But seriously, that match was that was lit. And it oh. wasn't even over the universal title. Think of what would happen if them, those two were fighting over that. They fought like two Canadians Here fighting over the last beat. And still, Jesus. WWE United States Champion. He earned the man that of a thousand win. holes. If there was any doubt in your mind that Saban was a credible champion, he just put it to rest. Coming up next, it is for the SmackDown Women's Tag Team Championship. Furashi Mai earned this opportunity by beating three other teams, Capcom vs. SNK, Armika and Nadeshko, and another team, to get this opportunity to face Original Sin for the SmackDown Women's Tag Team titles. Now, Original Sin has been on a tear with these titles for a while, but... You never know. I mean, we saw the Dirty Pair lose their title, and I didn't think that they were going to win. It could happen again over here on SmackDown. Could Farashimai get their first tag team titles for the blue brand? We'll find out next. looks like they're ready they're ready for their first Smackdown Women's Tag Team title reign seems like they're ready I mean I would love to see them become Women's Tag Team Champions tonight they've been NXT Women's Tag Champs only unseated by the Dirty Pair I think this is their time. This is their moment. Boom. Let's 
they are one tough, one tough set of customers. But I mean, the real question: Can they get past the original sin? Here they come. Coming to burn it down. The corruption of Sergeant Clements and Rowdy Rako over there. Surprised they didn't come out on the bikes this time, but whatever. They're about to take over. I'm telling you, they're one tough team, but I think that they'll find that for us, she might gonna give them more trouble than anything. They don't play like that. It's their time. This is their moment. And they do it is the real question. Or will the non-stop rain of the original sin continue? WWE SmackDown Women's Tag Team Lightning. The Prodigy on the way to the ring. Lightning and the Prodigy. The Natural Disasters. Lightning, the Prodigy, and their opponents. They are the Tag Team Champions. Sergeant and the Queen Rowdy, the Rope Riders. Springboard slam.
Man with a good shot. It's tough for out there. Super still got it. Oh, so close. Sad. 
Here are your winners. What? And Where's still the WWE on rolling, rolling, rolling. Women's Smackdown Tag, tag Team Sergeant and the Queen Rowdy. Coming up next, it is for the Intercontinental Championship. Skullamania takes on Rip Saber in a submission match. Next. contest is a submission match and it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship hmm. here we go I don't know man it, it seems like we're just just gift wrapping the IC title to um Skullamania with this yeah, submission match. But you know, winner got to pick the stipulation and he won that triple threat that fatal four way to become number one contender, so he got to put it. And we saw how he won that. With that dang skull -a lock. Yep. Gonna be interesting. I mean, Sullivan has had the Intercontinental title several times. Brother BWA. Ugh, this guy. He's another guy that's pretty much stayed in the Intercontinental title picture. Oh yeah. If it, if it's not the Intercontinental title, it's the tag it's the tag team division. Yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen with him tonight? Like, hopefully he loses the damn title again. Because I'm sick of the BWA taking over. I mean, they they got the drip.
about the Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Japan, weighing in at 136 pounds, Hero. Introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 297 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Rick. AWA. Because most people comment saying that most of Skullmania's title wins is just out of sheer luck. Up, oh, already gone for one. And Rip Saber escapes it. Another DDT. Pure luck or pure skill? Well, that's skill talk. Because I don't know, like, I'm still recalling the Great American Bash, like, a couple of years back where he won the um, NXT North American title. Drunk, might I add. I mean, yeah, but I mean, come on, man. everybody was partying, there was, you know, all kinds of good. Light. 
Blood Light won't pay me nothing. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. No, I'm just a beer man. Beer and pizza, a line and roses. Y'all know me, I love wine. I, you know I love wine, but wine and roses just don't sound like me. Beer and pizza, hell oh, yeah. Put some wings on there, we're in business. We're trying to hurry up. Wear this man out. I don't know if it's going to be enough to take down Slovenia. I mean, it's just not enough. Oh, uh, his cheating ass. Oh. Uh, ref, what the fuck are you doing? Refs are blind. These are facts. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, that had to hurt. Come on, Stella Mania. Jesus. Come on, get in there. Couldn't stop Skullamania's will to survive. Unfortunately, this is put with an asterisk by it, so Skullamania yeah. is not the Intercontinental Champion. However, there will be there will be consequences for this. Rip Rip knew what he was doing. There will be consequences. I I I am just sickened. By his behavior. Hey, the BWA gonna do whatever it takes to keep them titles around their waist. I don't, I don't approve though. That's that's it's just sickening. I'm not even the GM of SmackDown, and I feel offended. Just I'll I'll have to deal with him. Like I am just I am hurt. I am just I am hurt by these just the, their actions. Yeah, but you're not out of the woods. You still have the other half of the BWA. They're in the next take. Yeah, but you still have to deal with them more. Yeah. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Raw Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Ladder Tag Team Match. Who will walk out here with the titles? Will it be Team Sega, the, Dirt, the Deadly Brothers, or will the Turks retain? Let's find out next. This is, this is, I'm just sickened by his actions, though. Like, Skullamania won. No way. The rematch will happen on SmackDown. All but, right. But we're adding steps.
was not happy with that. Just, just hurt bowel bullshit in that damn match. Yeah, don't mean I have to like it. <sighs> we got this Raw Tag Team match next. And then we will hit one of our major marquee matches soon. <coughs> it's going to be interesting. Here come the Deadly Bros, who have been having a tangle with Team Sega this entire time, trying to get to their tag team title things. We'll see what happens when this match starts off. But these guys definitely deserve it. Here comes Team Sega, already draped with the CWA Tag Team titles. You know, Zeus not wearing his jacket tonight. No, he's all business. He got, he got that ring around his neck. He got that one ring dream. Uh, he repping Dreamcast tonight with Mr. Shakedown. See how this is all gonna be today. And here come the champs, the Turks, oh. in their bouncer outfits. Represent Dog Street. You know, out here looking like Sion and Rude out here looking like Bolt. This is going to be kick ass. You saw Elena got in on the. Yeah. Wardrobe action at TakeOver. Yeah, I'll have to talk to you about her uh, trajectory in the company later on today. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to some changes going to the roster later on today. Hey, I wanted to just ask everybody, if you drift the Tesla, is it called an electric slide? What? It's, this is a battle question. Wow. Yeah, I mean, uh, there it is. These guys are already off to a good start with this match. El Stingray and Reno are already outside. I just want to address them. 
in here, and I don't want to say this, and I don't want nobody to get offended at what I'm about to say. I know it's controversial, but I'm going to say it because it does need to be fucking said. The Girl of Jimmy Saga is the best saga in Dragon Ball Z. So fuck you. It, it I mean, fixed. I mean, I'm not gonna fault you. For Even that. though Krillin was sipping hard for Marin in that arc. Yeah, I, I didn't care for that. I didn't care for that. I didn't care for that. But that was the last rock of Piccolo and Krillin. Like, Piccolo gets a couple more moments in the Android side, but after that, that's it. It, just, it don't mean shit. Yet. But that needs to be said. Yeah, nice I, I'm not gonna fault you for that because I can see the reasoning behind it. We're gonna be the first man to get that ladder in there. Well, yeah, that's be like the only time Piccolo and Krillin ever get to do it. Yeah, pretty much because this whole Super Saiyan bullshit took over and just fucked it all up. You let me inside, damn. I see him by Shakedown. Yeah, because that's a... Cause he... Shakedown has the ladder. He's going to be the first man. Yep, he's the first man in the Because see, it. like, whenever Dragon Ball Z swings around every time on, on Tsunami Aftermath, like, I'll watch from the beginning, from the beginning to, like, So all the way to Junior, anytime, to Garlic Junior Saga. Anytime I got to the pro watch Dragon Ball Z, anytime, like, any channel, I was like, if this after the Cell Games, I'm done. I just don't give a shit anymore. I'm, I'm tired of, you know, Gohan finally got receiving his push, and then he started fucking up. And then we just gave, you literally give the ball from Gohan, to go to the Gohan, just to give it back to Gohan. Yeah, by the time, you know, Go Gohan had grew up and went to high school, I already knew, like, instantly, like, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Okay, here we go. Shakedown's going up. Trying to unhook the titles. Everybody's distracted. Gotta go up. Titanic Jim just blows it over. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, like, as soon as Gohan grew up and went to high school, I already know, like, his power is significantly low. He ain't been training, he just been studying. And Vegeta called him out on that. Vegeta called his ass out like fucking Super try to like we need to finish go high. It's, too late it's like no, it's too late. You already damaged it. Go high went from being upper mid or upper mid car to top of the car to back to mid car, then up to the top of the car one more time, and then promptly just put him in job status. The motherfucker couldn't win shit in the universe that term, and I was just pissed about that. I'm just like, Gohan yeah. used to be my favorite, now like, dude, Piccolo's my favorite again, because it's like, I'm Piccolo's so always been that favorite. Because I'm like, I dude, love Piccolo. Piccolo brains his ass off. He's a real daddy. He's the hands. He Gohan real daddy. Well, yeah, man, Gohan, he's Gohan on the staff. That's why they had Goten. Yeah, even then, Goku wasn't around before Goten. Goku ain't never around. Oh, shakedown's back up. Oh, uh, he's grabbing it. That stingray don't he's push hanging. the ladder. He's hanging. He's hanging. And electric chair drop. Well, yeah, Goku, um, Goku I mean, yeah, they had Goku, but Goku wouldn't even around for that. I mean, it was around to make him. Yeah. 
like a dreamcast. Great stuff, but just did not get a lot of love. But that's all that they needed. Plus, Shakedown saw that there's money in it. Here yeah. are your winners, the Gangster and the Maverick. The Great Boom fight between Squad. those three teams, but it just wasn't enough. Coming up next, it's our uh, Raw Women's Championship match. This is going to be exciting. Coming up next, Lucia Morgan, who earned this opportunity after eliminating several women in an eight pack challenge, faces off with the Raw Women's Champion, Pullen Perna, next. Who I did not expect to become a champion. No, no, I, I thought she was just going to be sacrificed to the altar that was Candy Kane, but how wrong we all were what it is. It's what it is, man. But, I, I, I mean, honestly, though. Between other things just going on in the world, I hope everybody else is doing fine with all the bullshit that's going on these days. I hope everybody's staying safe. Time to stuff. Please wash your hands. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. That's important. And is for the Raw Women's Championship. Here she comes. when he got her SF5 gear. Metro PD's hottest female officers on the case. And she's one half of the bouquet of roast um, tag champs. Yeah, this is gonna get ugly. Yeah, cuz you do not want to be in her coquina clutch. And when she used that show code, you, you gonna pass out, it's gonna happen. And that's if you can even get past her lightning fast kicks. Or if she's suplexing. And you see, it's one tough customer. She is. She may be small, but 
Hunter. Hell, she ran off the score game with Mike Hager and a guy and another guy. And that was it. Just oh, four of them. Who was that other guy? I forget his name. I mean, you know, it, it's probably something generic. Uh, they really haven't been doing nothing but Dean was his name. Mm. Yeah, Dean. No one's seen him fucking since. Too bad, man. He had cool extra powers, but they just didn't do shit with him. I'm being interesting now. Pullum, the champion. Our fun loving Pullum. She about to party up in here. Oh, yeah. She lit. She still got the moves. I mean, no wonder her and Elena are tag team partners. I mean, you know, they like to dance. I mean, you know, apparently she hits up, you know, different dance clubs with Elena every night. Whenever they don't got to work, they like to move it, move it. They were last seen last night with Aisha. Yeah. Matter of fact, they were there at TakeOver. Oh, man, that was a nice party. I mean, you know, if you got it, flaunt it, man, you know what I'm saying? But you like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, but this as you can see, but as you can see, Lucia is not about that life right now. All about business. Lucia knows this is her first oh world title opportunity on this brand. I mean, you know, she never managed to get it done in NXT. She's like, this is my time. Time me to take over. That belt. Introducing the challenger from Hackensack, New Jersey. She is one half of the Showstopper. Yeah, you can see it in her face. She ain't playing. From Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the Raw Women's Champion, the Diamond. Look like poems getting serious too. She knows what the gravity of this is. She likes being on top of the Starting off with these suplexes. Holmes getting back up. Hits her with a crossbody. Nice. Into a pin. Not even one count, but still. You see her with some kicks. Yeah, this is a test of Pullum's quickness versus Lucia's power. I mean, don't get me wrong. Pullum trained with daughter Mister. That man knows more about submissions and holds than anybody. Maybe set my pounds, but that's it.
That's a missing attempt fail, but hey. We see it hit the crossbody of her own, man, you know. It was nice to see her actually return and actually come back and sleep by her, man. She deserved it. She also she the has. took off one. And we're gonna count. Like she 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 does. Gentlemen, I'm getting reports from the backstage area that there is a fight going on right now between the Double Dragons, the Exotic Warriors, and the Lords of South Town. Yeah, we got security out here trying to break them up, but it, it is utter chaos back here. They're supposed to be facing off in, in, the, in, in a bit for the... Oh, God. Great Oni is... Jesus. They, they need a stretcher for him. Apparently, Billy Payne is down too, so is Yuji Yamazaki. Even Keith Howard is down too. I'm sorry. This is out of control. There goes that match. I guess we'll have to punt it over to Saturday's edition of Saturday, a shotgun Saturday night. Was not the plan, but plans change. When emotions get high, and people need to be kept separate. I guess that. I guess we're just gonna have to keep all three teams separate from each other. But that match apparently has now been moved. Yep. Shocking. The whole time we're looking out for BWA and this happens. One of them seems to be taking control here in this match. But let's see dodges. Goes for a pin. And they won't count. Tornado DDT on the set. Go for a pinfall. On the two. Another drop kick. Swing neck breaker. Come sliding back. Into the ropes we go. Get to this maze. Oh, oh. hits it with that kick. Talk to her by Don Mercer. I think Lucy is slowly realizing she cannot take her too lightly. See it drives her to the ground. With another tornado DDT. Gone for a pin. Just two. Just two. We see a nose is going to take it. It's going to have to be. It's going to put a joke on, man. She's 
Shout game drop kick by Pulliam to the outside. She's going for it now. But let's see a Dodgers. Fine buster. And we'll pin. She's out of two. Getting ready to fly. Oh, oh! Missed that elbow drop completely. Going there for another, another tornado DDT. I think that makes all four corners she's hit it from. Oh, yeah. Going for a pin. But is it enough? And, and it is. is. And Lucia has gotten her first women's championship. And she conquered her without having to use any chokehold. Well, we see one of the controversies coming out of this match. Yeah, because she does use that chokehold for the toughest opponents. Yeah, she does. Here's your winner. Coming up next, it is for the Universal Championship, or Blue Universal, if that's what you want to call it. But Vacant is coming after the Ray to get his Universal title. Vacant has been a strong champion in the past. And now as the challenger, as the Ray has pretty much defeated everyone in his path to becoming champion. Can Vacant do the impossible? Can Vacant be awarded the title once more? Vacant. Multiple time world champion spanning several organizations to a point that is ridiculous. The following contest is a no holds barred match. And it's for the WWE Universal Championship. Here comes Vacant. Keep calm and vacate now. Wow. Vacant is not playing tonight. Sig, you gonna vacate. 
All happened. She didn't do the right thing. Just give him the title and you, you'll be better off. There ain't no need for all that extra aggravation. You don't gotta have that. Just give him the belt. Basically, DWA is top champ. Does his reign in today, though, is a real question. <laughs> Vacant, man. He's one tough opponent. So imposing too, man. You know, comes out here in that that dead man shawl. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, you know, he would have had to be checked out with the medical examiners that would have told us, "No, we can't wrestle." So he hasn't been adhering to the wellness policy. Cause I mean, if you ain't seeing the piss man like everybody else, then what the fuck? Introducing the challenger from parts unknown, weighing in at 260 pounds, the living legend. Introducing the champion from Delhi, India, weighing in at 351 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, the Ghost. No, I'm serious about that question. You talking about you trying to adhere to this wellness policy? Can the undead even pee? Obviously he does, I and mean, he does hang out in the bathroom. That's because he intimidating everybody. Man, dude, he ain't intimidate mine. Okay, I go to the bathroom to take a piss. I don't, I don't deal with his ass. Let's go. Let's work. Wait, see me when he got on the control, start things off. But remember, it's vapor. Bacon going up high. Oh! Took knees to the gut. Not 
making a safe stand. Hits right from the chopper.
great. For the pin. Oh. And Bacon stays alive. Great is uh, actively frustrated. Even though we want to keep our focus on these two, but we also have to keep in mind there's a certain someone walking around here with the money in the bank briefcase. Yeah, yeah, guy is working. You mean Cody? Yeah, Cody's working. Real question is, does he try to cash in tonight? Well, any of our money in the bank winners cash in tonight. Bacon is the new Universal Champion. He's got the title once again. This is his first time holding the Universal title. Wait, is it? Yeah. Remember, we switched titles. Oh, dang. I forgot that quick. Bacon came out here and said he was here to do one thing. To get it and take what the club belonged to him. Here is your winner and new WWE Universal Champion, the living legend. This next match is upcoming is gonna be lit though. Coming up next, it is a, this is our co-main event of the show. Four women will face off for the SmackDown Women's title. Evil Rose, Tifa Lockhart, Doral, Queen Elizabeth. Who walks out of here the winner? Dottie, who you got? Oh my gosh. This is a tough one. These are like the toughest women we have on SmackDown. But since Daral had came back, she's been on a streak. Hmm. Honestly, this can go either way with these four women. Yeah, it can. I'm surprised by some of the match outcomes we've had tonight, but this one can go anyway. Oh, here she comes.
she always looks so damn nice. Of course. I mean, she's the daughter of the legendary Kamikaze Rose. Oh, man. There's the shit out of most of our, our talent roster. The following the contest room. is a fatal four-way match. And it's for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from the pits of hell, Big Evil Rose. from hell. Oh shit, here she comes. Oh, Tifa is pissed. Tifa ain't playing no games. I mean, I know she's she's been having her ups and downs with Cloud lately, but and introducing she's, she's, she's the challenger the from parts unknown, Tiffany. Her and her crossing paths with the Raw is well known and documented. Yeah, from I video mean, video driving her off the top of the fucking upper of the seating area of the stadium down to the floor. That moment was insane. And that was just over a minute. Oh, One weapon you do not want to be near. the champion. And introducing the champion 
from Washington, D.C., the SmackDown Women's Champion, she the is Queen must. Elizabeth. Oh, God, no. This is going to be good. This is what it's all about, people. Taken over. Here 
Elizabeth retains. Wow. That was, was not expecting that at all. That was quick. She knew she had to be. I mean, you know, you want to hold on to your crown, you need to hurry up and do, take care of business while everybody else is preoccupied. Well, that she did while Duran was got Evil Rose in that giant swing. Yeah, definitely. Like, I was not expecting that at all. No way in the world. Right. Then again, she Here's really took Tifa's head off. And so. still, the SmackDown Women's Champion, the Queen Elizabeth. And she remains on top of the SmackDown Women's Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is our main event match. Max Eagle debuted on Raw before King of the Ring, won his spot into that tournament, and then won King of the Ring. He faces the WWE Champion, Mr. Kamoshida, tonight. And this Clash of Kings... Who will walk out of SummerSlam the WWE Champion? Will it be Max Eagle? Who has, you know, just been on a roll since his debut? Or will King Kamoshida's Reign of Terror continue? Let's find out next. The following contest... Mama is on Max Eagle, no and question. I know you don't like Mr. Kamoshida. Like, he's a freaking pedo in a speedo. What you expect? I mean, those were just rumors that we heard from Shujin Academy and the police investigation. Right. And that was dealt with last year after he was, uh, he took off. I mean, you know, yeah, he was in connection with that, but I want to talk about this young man here. This guy has come in and just been able to handle any problem in his way. He won King of the Ring. Yes. And would you imagine that Rip Saber was this close? Rip Saber was so close, but 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 you know what? Brandy said it best. Almost doesn't count. It's what it is. I feel it's his time, man. Like, it's just his time. He needs to become champion. Let's watch him do it. Watch these kings go to war. Oh wow, he had to have an extravagant ass entrance. Then 
this cocky bastard. Mr. Kamoshida. Talking shit over there to Max Eagle. Mm. The, the egregiousness of him doing this. This is just fucking insane. No, what would have been insane is if he brought all his hoes. He only got one. Apparently looks like that one girl that's in like his gym class. You know, the one with the blonde hair. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And he one says of, he won't let anybody take this. Yeah, and one of his former hoes is actually married to El Vicante Uno. You mean Officer Cocktees? No, not, co not Officer Cocktees. She's back to stripping. Um, I'm talking about Ginger. Oh, Ginger? Huh. Introducing the challenger from the United States of America, weighing in at 249 pounds, the Eagle. Introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, Weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, The Narcissist. This is what it's all about. Let's get on.
Oh. Nice back breaker. Yes. Only a one count still. Popped him up with it. And Max Eagle. Again. Quick, quick, fast, in a hurry. Again. Literally. Um, wow. Just destroyed Mr. Kamoshida in this match. Hit him with a backbreaker. Just, just. Starts his ass. Done. Him out. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, the Eagle. Kamashita sitting out there. He is seething. Yeah. You know what? It don't matter. New sheriff in town. His name is Max Eagle. Sh sheriff? He's the king. Yeah. He holds the crown now. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining us tonight here for SummerSlam. We will see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw. Good fight. Good night. Thanks for joining us.